Hello mom, I hope you are great. I wanted to talk to you on this video about the power of really uh, taking care of yourself, like making you as a priority. Hi, I am Brissy Mayombo and uh, you know, I am really holding your hand of those person who's been hurting physically, um, spirit, uh, you know, emotionally, who've been sexually abused. I'm on the process, you know, I'm on like a journey of healing with you. I go with you, I coach you and using spiritual principles, some tools that I've learned that have helped me also to heal from a childhood trauma. And this video, I want to teach you the importance of really putting yourself a priority, the importance of taking care of yourself. You know, I'm a huge advocate of self-care. Number one, you can never be able to take care of someone else until you've taken of yourself. I always like to use the, the example of someone who is drowning. Someone is drowning and is asking for your help. If you go and just jump in it, knowing that you might not know how to swim or something has happened, usually they have the tendency of grabbing on you. And by grabbing on you, they're putting a force on you, so you're going down on your on on yourself you know and guess what if you haven't put you know your safety jacket on if you haven't make sure that you know how to swim prior for you jumping if you haven't really like uh check yourself on him you might drown with that person and usually that's what happened and the same thing anytime you've taken a plane i don't care which way you're going whether it's back home or outside the the instructions are always clear put on your jacket first Put on your mask first. Make sure that you are putting your mask first. Even if once you have a child, before you secure the child, you have to secure yourself. So that if anything happens to that child, you will be able to uh, take care of the child. You will be able to save the child. As a mom, it's like more than vital to take care of yourself. Even if you're taking care of the elderly, you need to take time for yourself. You need to take time to recharge yourself. You need to take time to nourish yourself physically, emotionally, spiritually. How do you take care of yourself uh, physically? You need to make sure you exercise. That is like a, a must. You have to exercise. Some people will tell me that you don't have time. If you have time to sit in front of the TV mom for two hours, you have time to give yourself 20 minutes or 30 minutes or more an hour, even 10 minutes. You know the importance, because I used to think like this. The, pro the problem is not how long, but it's just the intention and make sure that you're doing that on a regular basis, all right? Physically, make sure also that you are eating the right food. You cannot expect to have a perfect body eating McDonald's or whatever you want to eat because that's going to cost you your health in the long run. And I always say that it's not what you do once that's going to affect you. If, it's, if, if you eat McDonald's once in a while, okay, in the road and stuff, on the road or you know, hurry, it's, it's, it's okay. But if it's all that you're feeding the most important thing, the most important tool that you have in your body with just some processed food, guess what? Don't expect magic. And as a spiritual guys, we always say that we pray, we fast and stop. But until you have the routine, all right, the daily routine to make sure that you are intentionally feeding yourself with the proper food that's going to give you energy so you can be able to take care of yourself, take care of other people and love on them. A lot of mom are grumping. A lot of mom are always complaining. Like kind of all the men are always sad. Just because they are feeding themselves the wrong food. Be mindful 